Oh, this is uh, this is new. I am back making videos. Yes, guys, welcome back to the George Benson Football Channel. Welcome to the first video in two weeks since the world went mad. This is just like me, the camera, you the lens, looking at you guys, talking about everything that's been happening recently, not just from a footballing standpoint. Of course, we are gonna relate everything to football because this is what we do here on the George Benson Football Channel. The clue is in the name. I do wanna ask you to subscribe if you're new around here and you haven't already. Times are tough right now in the world, not just as a YouTuber who bases making a living off of talking about football, which is indefinitely cancelled at this point until supposedly the 30th of April. But if we take a look at the trajectory as to where this virus, the coronavirus, COVID-19, if we look at where it's going and where it's gone ever since the Premier League decided to delay until April the 30th, it's looking likely that it's going to be more than just over a month until we get the football back. Realistically, we've got to be positive in these kind of situations. I want to talk a little bit today about what I think about everything, what I think it means for football as a whole. It's a hard time and it's very hard to, to really say the way I really truly feel about things because I've decided that throughout this whole pandemic, I want to see it as an opportunity, an opportunity as a human being to really spend time on my own, which is now what I've been forced to do. I'm actually, to give you a bit of background, I'm still in Bali. I've been here now for about seven weeks and this place is actually relatively safe compared to a lot of other places. I'm actually safer here right now than I would be back in London. And for various other logistical reasons, I'm gonna be staying here in Bali for the foreseeable future, probably the next six weeks at least, until things start to calm down and until it's safe for me to come back from this island in the middle of Indonesia to be with my family. And you guys know, this year I've lost two people very close to me and I don't wanna be the reason and if I come back with something, which, you know, touch wood at the moment, I'm absolutely fine. But if I were to come back with something, then it's just not something I really want to entertain. So right now, I'm safe here. My family is safe at home and everyone's going through the precautions of lockdowns, quarantine, self-isolation, social distancing, all of these new terms that we don't really ever expect to have to adhere to these things. We don't expect for this to be the reality. There's, there's films that are made about the stuff that's going on right now where people aren't allowed to leave their home, borders are being closed, governments are forced to cut taxes or delay taxes or, you know, you don't even have to pay your flipping rent because no one can flipping work. This stuff is absolutely crazy. And in terms of me, a lot of people say like, do you have a job outside of these videos? No, I don't. I literally make videos talking about football for a living. And for the last couple of weeks, I know I've not made a video, but I have been just thinking like flipping out, how lucky do I need to be to have this as my job, to have you guys supporting me whenever I upload a video, whether it's six things we learned, whether it's a match preview, whether Chelsea have got battered and we're all sat here going in on, I don't know, Marcus Alonso for a poor defensive performance or Tammy for not scoring a goal. It puts a lot of things into perspective. It makes you realize that there is a life beyond football. For me, football is my life, literally, from a work perspective, from a passion perspective, like I flipping miss Chelsea. Like the be all and end all of all of this. I miss my family, but I miss Chelsea Football Club so flipping much. And if anything that I've learned throughout this entire process, there are so many things as human beings, myself included on a massive scale, so many things that you just take for granted on a daily basis, like being able to go to a coffee shop with a friend, being able to grab a pint with a mate at the pub. I've actually been able to do most of those things for a lot longer here in Bali than a lot of you guys may have had. And I want you to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know where you're from. Let me know how you are right now. Let me know what is going on in your country. Just let me know in the comments below just so that we can reconnect and everything again. But it's really made me think about being able to go to the games home and away when there's Chelsea fans all over the world that would love to be in that position. It's been a humbling experience to, to actually come to terms with everything that's going on and having the freedom of being able to do whatever the hell you want every day taken away from you from something that is bigger than a football game or bigger than supporting a team. Everyone's health in the world is the most important thing right now. Containing this virus, maintaining the spread of the virus to make sure that it doesn't get any worse, which right now, as human beings, we've done a pretty bad job of it. And I'm, you know, every day I'm looking on social media, I'm seeing people in the UK congregating in supermarkets with you know, an old man looking at his shopping list and looking up and not seeing anything left on the shelves. Selfishness, these are things that as humans in this day and age, we have taken for granted for so long. We have put ourselves into these positions by feeling like we're entitled to everything. We've 
made money or we've got money so therefore we, we feel like we deserve to spend it and leave everybody else with nothing because we're selfish as people as individuals as humans in this race in this day and age i have just spent the last couple of weeks dealing with my own situation that i've been in so far this year stripping it back even further just looking at my habits looking at things i've done looking at things that i do on a daily basis and thinking like you know what i should probably smile more when i'm doing this i should probably be more thankful for the person behind the cashier is they give me my change back even if I don't want the change. Little things like that. It's it, There's a lot to think about right now. And in terms of the football, I didn't want this to just be like a little rant about everything that's going on in the world. You guys have watched the news. You guys have got your own stuff to worry about. I'm not just going to sit here and spew all of my thoughts on it for no reason. But the Premier League cancelled until April the 30th. Realistically, and I want to be a realist in these situations, I want to be optimistic, of course, but realistically, I think it could be delayed further. A lot of people have said, what do you think should happen? Should Liverpool be given the title? Should the teams in the bottom three right now be relegated? I don't think any of this is fair. Like, I do not think ending the season now is fair whatsoever. However, what I will say is that Liverpool flipping deserve the Premier League. If something happens, and I'm a Chelsea fan, you guys, of course you know that, that's why you're flipping here. If Liverpool don't get given the title this season, even as a Chelsea fan who would probably laugh for like a split second, they do deserve it. Let's just like forget about rivalries in football for one second. I'm sweating like a flipping dog in a sauna right now, which would not be a really nice thing to do. Um, <laughs> but Liverpool deserve to win the league. I've got people saying like, oh, isn't it great? Like Liverpool fans are still going to miss out on winning the league. Come on, man. They've been absolutely next level this season. When it comes to the relegated teams and the teams promoted from the championship that's when it really becomes difficult because it's not just that euphoria that comes with being promoted or the heartbreak that comes with relegation it's the fact that there's still so much to play for the season isn't finished you've got teams like Norwich who have had a couple of good results before everything stopped and they're going to be thinking like you know what we can beat the drop and then if the Premier League was just to end and the current standings were to be the way that it went, we're talking hundreds of millions of pounds that some teams would miss out on, some teams would get. But the be all and end all of everything is, there's gonna be a lot of money missed out from teams. We're gonna be talking in upcoming videos and gonna be looking at the financial impact this might have on the transfer window, the transfer market. Are Chelsea in a better position than other clubs now because of that lack of spend and that positive income that we've had in the past few years? Is that gonna benefit Chelsea above other teams? I wanna go and delve into that a little bit more in future videos. The fallout of this is gonna be astronomical. And I think that something that we as human beings right now are not necessarily thinking about as much as we should be, the immediate concern is making sure this virus doesn't spread from me to you, to the next bloke, to the next woman. There's gonna be a lot of repercussions of this, not only financially, but mentally, people are gonna be in a really, really tough place moving forward because jobs will be lost, wages won't be paid, salaries will be reduced. There are so many things that we will have to deal with at a later stage, away from football. It's been kind of difficult to make this video today, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, Football's one thing in this world, it's something that means a lot to all of us, it's something that we miss dearly, particularly all of you guys within my community here on this channel, or our community should I say. At the moment, I am currently just trying my best to do all that I can. I've stopped going out now because, well, two reasons. A, they've shut all the places down. B, I don't want to be the guy who gives it to someone and then I don't have anything right now. Again, touch wood, but you never know what's going to happen because symptoms show after 14 days or whatever. So hard for me to really know what to say right now, but all I will advise as somebody who cares about you lot and someone who cares about the state of the world do everything that your governments are telling you to do right now unless there's a couple of idiots saying come into work we need the forget that right now everyone needs to be selfishly unselfish by keeping yourself isolated keeping yourselves at home if that is what the advice is in your country yes right now ironically i'm stood in my driveway i'm not sat in the house making this video but things are actually quite good here I'm very safe in Indonesia. It's quite hot here as well, as you can see from my profuse sweating in front of the camera every time I make a video here. I'm safe, I'm good, I'm healthy. I'm still going to the gym. I haven't been for the last six days, but it's because I've been a bit worried about going to the gym and it's a public place and they're flipping spraying the dumbbells with sanitizer every five seconds, which makes them a little bit hard to grip. So I've got my excuses, but it's absolutely fine. Thank you guys for watching this video today. Hopefully it's kind of been like a little clarification that A, I'm still here. B, I intend on making videos again. I've got some ideas. I'm going to be doing some collabs as well through Skype with some friends of mine within the Chelsea community as well. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Stay safe. Hit the like button if you support the GBFC channel. And as I said at the beginning, subscribe if you're new around here and haven't already so you don't miss a video. 
We don't know when the football's coming back, but we've still got each other. And that is honestly, it's a bit cringe and cliche, but at this day and age, I don't give a flying, I'm not even gonna swear because I still haven't done that yet on this channel, so I won't. You guys know what I mean. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.